Hi, this is Mike from Hillside Electronics Corporation. Today I'm going to show you how to input or change your IP address on your Epson point of sale printer. First thing you will need to do is connect your printer to the network and turn the printer on. Next thing you will need to do is download the Epson Net Config software, which you can find on Epson's website on their driver page or you can Google Epson Net Config and download it from there. Once you have the program installed, from the Start menu, open Programs, find Epson Net, Epson Net Config, and then you'll see Epson Net Config again. We'll open that up. It'll open the program and it should locate your printer that you're trying to change the IP address on. It'll usually go by the MAC address and the IP address that's in that printer at that particular time. The MAC address is located on a sticker on the bottom of the ethernet port. Next thing you'll have to do is click on that printer, then click configuration. This will open up a screen that'll tell you some information about that printer. The next step is to look for TCP slash IP in the left-hand column and double click on basic. This is the screen where you're gonna change your IP address. Right now we have it set to manual, which is static. This is where we can go in and put in an IP address that you have that will stay into the network card. If you change this to automatic, the printer will automatically locate an open IP address on your network. This is dynamic. What will also happen with a dynamic IP address, it could change at any time due to power failure, or if you move your printer, it'll change the IP address. So if you have an IP address, I would recommend using manual because that is static. And this is where you would put that IP address in. We're going to keep it at the default right now, but whatever IP address you have. Then also for the subnet mask, if you need to locate what your subnet mask should be, you go back to the start menu, programs, accessories, command prompt and at this command prompt we're going to type in IP config when you hit enter scroll up a little bit you'll see what the subnet mask is and right now it's exactly what it, what's already in there so that's the subnet mask you would want to use your default gateway you would keep at all zeros the next thing you're going to have to do is just transmit. And this screen will pop up, the device property screen, just press OK. And the configuration was successfully completed. Now you can close this program and you should be able to go on your network and print directly to this printer. If you have any questions, you can call us at area code 413 238 5566. Thank you very much.